In this video, I'll explain how half-life relates to dosing intervals for medications. First, I'll start off by reminding you about the concept of half-life. Then we'll get into how half-life relates to dosing interval for medications. For example, aspirin and Aleve. Half-life is the time it takes a substance to decrease to half of a previous value. Hydrogen peroxide, for example, has a half-life of 11 hours, or 654 minutes. Here is a set of coordinate axes showing time and concentration. Starting off at point zero 0.02, after 11 hours, the concentration is down to point zero 0.01 molar, or point zero 0.01 moles per liter. After another 11 hours, or another half-life, we're down to 0 0.05. After another half-life, the concentration is down to 0 0.005. After three half-lives, concentration is down to 0 0.0025. And after four, it's all the way down to 0 0.00125, and so on. So half-life is a good predictor of how long a substance will exist. A drug half-life is the time required for the total amount of drug in blood plasma to diminish by half once the drug reaches its peak concentration. An important piece of information when considering drug half-lives is the time to peak for a particular drug. That is, how long does it take a drug to reach peak concentration once in the bloodstream? Here we can see for all three drugs, A, B, and C, the time to peak is an hour and a half. Based on that, the half-life for drug A, which is the blue curve, is one hour. The half-life for drug B, which is the gray curve, is three hours. And the half-life for drug C, which is the black curve, is eight hours. Now we'll look at how dosing intervals relate to half-life. The reported half-lives for aspirin and Aleve are 6 hours and 12 to 17 hours. In general, the next dose of a drug is given once the previous dose reaches its half-life. The dosing intervals for aspirin and Aleve are related to their half-lives. I'd like you to draw half-life curves for aspirin and Aleve based on the information given in this table. You can consider your initial amount to be 100% or 1. Because there's a range for the half-life for Aleve, use 12 hours for the half-life of Aleve and 1 hour for time to peak for both drugs. Your curve for Aleve should look something like this. In my graph, the peak amount is 10, and at 13 hours, I've reached 5. And at 25 hours, I'm at 2.5, or 25%. Your curve for aspirin should look something like this. My peak value is 20. Therefore, at 7 hours, I'm at 10, and at 13 hours, I'm at 5. A fair question to ask is, why do drugs have different half-lives? On the screen are molecular structures for aspirin and Aleve, or naproxen sodium. Well, why they have different half-lives is complex and is answered by pharmacokinetics. Drugs are absorbed differently in our body, they're distributed differently, our body metabolizes them differently, and they're excreted differently. There's also something that's very, very important that we'll learn in the future that has to do with molecular structure and bond polarity. Half-life can also be related to the longevity of a single dose. As a rule of thumb, a drug is eliminated from the body after five half-lives. For aspirin, 30 hours. For Aleve, 60 hours. 